okay uh, here is uh, one more problem on pentagonal lamina uh, let me read the problem first a pentagonal lamina of sides 25 mm is having is having side both on hp and vp this is the very important point of the problem the surface of the lamina is inclined at an angle of 60 degree to 60 degree with hp draw the top and front views of the lamina so the main key point of this problem is side both on hp and vp so basically it's a side resting one so if it is a side resting we should get we should get side towards our left right so pentagon of 25 mm sides let me solve this problem fastly so 25 so 25 mm line 2.5 boxes exactly okay and next you can uh, take the protractor and you can measure for what is the angle pentagon 72 right as i explained in the previous class it's 72 mark 72 from both the sides 72 okay so at these points draw thin lines thin infinite lines thin infinite lines and then you take the compass and measure for 2.5 that is 25 mm okay 25 mm and you can just cut the arc both the ways and once you get three sides you can easily get another two by cutting arc from this corner and from this corner you'll get an intersection later you can join all the sides see and let all the sides be with higher thickness and all other projection lines should be thin okay yeah so we got it uh, let us name it right we have to name it let it be a b c d and e right so now we have to get its front view for that project all the sides see this c and e will come in a same line and d as well now increase the thickness of this particular section <coughs> so now here uh, since i don't have any pentagonal section again uh, here we can see b but not a in the front view hope you can uh, assume it so now so since we can see b b will be that is b dash since it is front view b dash will be outside the bracket and a dash will be within the bracket since we cannot see a dash similarly here also we can see c dash and we cannot see e dash and d dash is visible so this completes the front view right next what is the inclination with respect to hp has given it is 60 so take your protractor and measure for the angle 60 okay inclination with respect to hp can be seen in vp so we are considering inclination 60 we are considering inclination 60 in vp so draw a thin line draw a very thin line and then you can go for this v dash a dash first 
cut it on the 60 degree line and then it is c dash e dash to d dash from here cut it over 60 degree line and so it's a 60 inclination and increase the thickness of this particular line and this will be my b dash a dash this is my c dash e dash and this is my d dash correct so in order to get the next section we have to project this downwards 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 let these lines be thin hope you know it and project it forward project it forward project it forward this as well this okay <clears throat> so now search for the common points search for the common points see a and a are meeting here and this is our a b and b are meeting here b c and c are meeting here so this would be our c d and d here so this is our d e and e are meeting here and this should be our e so now join all the powers, uh, corners a b c d e so we even got this part so we are done with almost 60 percent of the problem now last bit Again, coming to this particular part, he is telling he is having a side both on HP and VP. Okay, so now already this side AB is on HP, right? Now, one more condition we have to satisfy because he has not given one more angle or one more inclination, but he has given a side both on HP and VP. A both is already on HP. Now, the same side is to be on VP that means this side AB should touch XY line then the condition will be satisfied so now we have to recreate this diagram we have to redraw this diagram by touching this side AB to this XY line so for that now I will consider simply A here and now I will measure the distance from A to B a to B I'll cut for B now and this will be my this will be my B right and this will be my B so now keeping a B as two points we have to cut for all other points first first a to E a to first we have to cut for A to E and then B to E B to E keeping this here B to E so we got the point E correct next C B to C first B to C next a to C, A to C, right, we got the point C, now we have to cut for D, right, so A to D, A to E and B to D, B to D. So we got the point D also. Now we have to join for all the points. It is A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to E. So by this stage we satisfy both the conditions that side 
both on HP and VP. It is already on HP here and here it is already on VP. So now it is simple. We have to project all the corners upwards, all the cor corners up. Let it be a thin lines and from this, from this project everything forward, forward, right. So now search for the common points. A and A are meeting here. So the same point will be our A dash. Okay, B and B are meeting here. The same point will be our what? B dash. Correct. Now C and C are meeting here. It will be our C dash. D and D dash will be meeting here. It will be our D dash. And E and E will be meeting here. And this will be our E dash. Correct. So now A dash to B dash is already been joined. Now B dash to C dash. C dash to D dash. D dash to E dash and E dash to A dash at last. So we will get the final view. This is one of the special problems as well important problems as far as your uh, examination is concerned. So hope you understood. Thank you.